Here I am at the Lakeland Show, uh, Charles Turnage of Fan Turns Productions. Uh, just want to show a few things that we got here. Uh, some of us packed up, but we do have this mammoth fabric, which basically basically comes out of Russia. Uh, we import about close to 7,000 pounds a year uh, from Siberia and Russia. We get a little bit from Alaska, uh, some from Europe, but 90% comes from Russia. Um, so you don't dig it up yourself, huh? We don't dig it up ourselves, no. Right. And we basically, uh, uh, our market basically is the knife industry, obviously, and then also we sell to gun companies. Uh, we do uh, Nighthawk, we do uh, uh, Wilson Combat, we do Cabin Arms, uh, um, um, Ed Brown, you know, uh, and basically now I'm, I'm not that much of a grip maker. I, what happens is they buy from me and I send to grip makers to make for them because I only can do so much. Uh, but we also do knife companies, you know, uh, uh, we sell to William Henry, uh, we sell to, you know, we've sold to Case, different knife companies, Crater and Company. Um, we basically have something that we call cross cut, which is the interior cut of a mammoth tusk filled with resin uh, that's processed and stabilized and made to uh, a usable product. Uh, it's probably one of our, uh, as far as in volume, it's our biggest seller. Uh, as far as dollar value, just the regular mammoth fiber is the best seller. Uh, we also, we do mammoth tooth, uh, we do mammoth bone a little bit, we do swordfish bill, and we do brain coral. Uh, brain coral, we probably have the biggest supply of that uh, of all our products. Uh, we probably we probably got about 30,000 pounds of brain coral that we process, you know, uh, into knife scales, knife handles, stuff like that. Uh, actually, there's an article in... Uh, uh, Knife Magazine, uh, in the, the November issue, um, actually we're on the front cover, but it's going to detail about all the stuff we do, how we got started. Uh, love to have anybody want to you know, do business or talk to me about any of our products, you feel free to contact us at fancharities.com. Um, we're definitely very willing to give you any information you need. Thank you. So, um oh. When you get it, like you get it in a raw form, you can polish it or cut it. Or? Uh, uh, we get it. Uh, well, normally the Russians get it. They 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 dig it up basically, and uh, it's normally stored about three or four years before I get it. Um, I prefer it that way. Uh, if you get it too early, uh, got a lot of moisture in it, hard to work with. You got to try to dry it yourself. So, um, ninety percent of what I get is already pre-dried. So, um, we get it. We process it, we cut it, we stabilize it, we do everything, you know, that needs to be done to it. So you stabilize it, what do you do? Uh, it's a process of sucking the air out of it, but first you dry it out, suck the air out of it, then you replace, uh, replace it with resin. Uh, doesn't change the look of it, it just changes the physical properties of it. Uh, less problems with it shrinking, uh, warping and stuff like that. So right. is it like working with wood or bone when, when you use it? Not really. Uh, I, I guess as far as workability, it's, it's easy to work as wood. Uh, um, uh, the, 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 the consistency of it is kind of like a bone, uh, more or less. Um, but it's, I mean, the funny thing about it, a lot of people are very, very scared to work in MMI Private. You no, know, because it's, it's not cheap. You no, know, because it's top of the land. So uh, what, is, what is this down here? This is a stabilized bone? I mean, no, this is all MMI Private. Huh? All mammoth fiber. That's what it's mammoth ivory. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. How'd you guys get started in the business? Uh, been in business about 20 years. Uh, started off as a hobby. Uh, got a little too expensive as a hobby. We were uh, making uh, things like well tube stands out of ivory and uh, what I call functional art out of mammoth fiber and stuff like that. Uh, we started out that way. Then eventually we got you know into the knife industry and then the gun industry. So they can order from you uh, right from your website. Right? They go right from my website. Uh, uh, we we normally on uh, uh, non-pandemic years <laughs> we do about 25 shows a year. Uh, uh, right now, uh, hopefully this year shows just now. This is my first show this year. Um, we're looking to you know in the next couple of months be right back almost full speed. Hopefully, the show. All according to what our country allows us to do, <laughs> as far as the campaign pandemic is concerned.
Oh, I appreciate it. Have a great show. All right, thank you, sir.